Hey guys, the worst thing that I've been expecting for years has happened. I don't know if it's the worst, but it's definitely upsetting. I've been learning English since I was four. I've always told you guys how important it is to learn English, but unfortunately, or fortunately, we live in 2023, and now I'm just speaking Russian, and the neural network takes it, translates me into English, preserving the movement of my lips, emotions, intonations. And yes, I sounded a little bit British, but who cares? If I want to continue creating videos in English without ever thinking, did I say this correctly? Did I say this right? Uh, what's the best way to phrase this? I don't have to worry anymore. Around four years ago, I was debating whether I should start um, a channel in German. Actually, I can just start it now. Mein Deutsch ist nicht so gut, aber dieses von einer KI generierte Deutsch ist einfach perfekt. The thing is, what well, you have to realize, if you are not using AI as a professional, you're going to be left far behind. Because AI is developing at an incredible pace. Six months ago, I was skeptical. Honestly, I was like, okay, yes, this is Marina speaking English, but it doesn't sound natural. These days it sounds really natural, right? Who cares if I speak with my slightly Russian accent? Who cares if I speak with an American accent? Who's, who cares if I speak with a British accent? Nobody cares. What people care about are my thoughts that I generate. Anyways, today we're going to talk about AI that is developed for you, a non-native English speaker, so you can get a job in English, so you can improve your speed as a professional in English, your speed of work. Anyways, please watch this video up to the very end because we're gonna talk about very important apps for different professions. Start using them now to step up your game in your profession and in English. Let's do it. So the app that I just used is called HeyGen. It helps me speak any language might not look too natural but it does the job it is free for the first couple of videos you just upload your video you select the language and there it is marina speaks german french spanish whatever remember how i did a list of jobs for non-native speakers this list is getting bigger and bigger and you can start making money right now now let's talk about how you can actually make money with all of this. As a non-English speaker, as a professional who's just starting out in their career and needs some ideas. So the way I decided to structure this video is that I'm gonna talk about a profession, then I'm gonna tell you how much you get paid if you work in English, if you have customers from the US, from Canada, and then I'm gonna show you which tools you can use. Are you ready? Because I am. Interior design. Even if you're not in design, just watch this. Now, the first job that I'm going to mention pays around $100 per project. And this is, again, I am just going to Upwork, researching what people are offering. So in Upwork, an average room design costs around $100. Now I'm gonna show you how you can create a project using AI. So basically you're gonna use this app called RoomGPT. You're gonna upload a photo of your room. And then they actually have some themes that you can select and you select professional and there you go, you get a result, which I think looks super professional. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? And of course, I'm gonna link all the apps that I'm using in this video below in the description so you can start using them and start making money ASAP and put your English to work until it's too late. I didn't say that. <laughs> Now, my favorite video editors. You can become a video editor now. Let me show you this. This is one of my old videos and basically uh, this app is called Caption and it creates captions, which we used to do manually. I used to pay my editor money to manually put captions on my videos. And if you've seen my shorts, they're all filled with captions. Now this app does it and it's a lot cheaper. And this is the result. Hey guys, welcome to Silicon Valley Girl. In this video, we're gonna talk about seven ideas for small businesses in 2019. 
this is my older video. But anyways, another thing that this app does, it actually makes you look in the camera while you are reading from a script. So I'm reading from a script right now, but you see that my eye is actually staring at you because we're using caption to make sure I'm actually staring at you. And we're also using their feature that creates captions. Now I'm actually looking at you. Mind blowing. This app can also create shorts for you. So if you're working as a video editor, you can offer to not only edit a video with this app and create captions, but also generate three or four shorts and they will be edited for you. Okay, now we're gonna talk about copywriting. And I know for a lot of non-English speakers, it's a huge problem. Oh, by the way, I have a team uh, who helps me with our emails and our social media. But the problem is, it is really expensive to hire native speakers. And you know, we have to hire native speakers because we have to make sure our communication is correct. But in the past year, in 2023, everything became a lot easier. Because what we can do, we can hire people who create content in Russian. We translate everything using chat GPT, and then a native speaker checks the text. And almost in all cases, the text will be correct because chat GPT does the job. Okay, I'm gonna show you how you can do that too. Maybe you want to start an email list. Maybe you want to work as a copywriter in English uh, to make you know more money, but you are afraid that you are going to make mistakes. And it's totally natural, but chat GPT is there to help you. So if we look at Fiverr, for example, so there's this guy, Kevin S, who charges um, $110 for a, to do, high converting sales copy and landing page copywriting. Now, of course, when you start something, you charge less because you have to accumulate reviews, you have to be, um, you know, you have to stand out from the crowd. But anyways, what you can do with AI, you go to chat GPT, our favorite tool, and then you, you ask to write out a text about a vacuum cleaner or anything else that you want to write about or your customer wants you to write about. Very important. The more specific you are with ChatGPT, the better the outcome. Uh, so for example, we asked to make the mood of the post or like style of the post, whatever, optimistic. Or you can tell ChatGPT, and I want this text to sound like Jimmy Kimmel. I want it to be fun. And you can tell how long it should be. And there is your copy. One thing that I will tell you as a customer myself, please make it as specific as possible because if you don't ask ChatGPT for these small features, the text will be too generic. Uh, but if you ask for more features, if you're able to add some information by yourself, that would be great. There you go, copywriting done with ChatGPT. Now there is something I wanna tell you. Like, let's just take a moment to appreciate the world that we live in. 30 years ago, our parents, my parents studied for my dad studied for like eight years because he did his PhD. And then his job pretty much stayed the same throughout his life. With today's progress, you just can't afford that, but it's also so exciting. There is always something new. There is always something new for you to learn and you don't have to study for 10 years to start making money with your new craft. Because AI helps you with your professional skills, it also helps you with your English skills which means that you can live wherever you want. And there's this video on YouTube uh, from a YouTuber who lives in different countries and she just changes locations. She talks about top seven countries where you can live on $1,000 a month. Um, I highly recommend going and checking out this video if you decide that you're gonna work remotely and a lot of jobs are remote these days. Check out her video. Maybe, you know, this video inspires you to start a new career, start making more money working with American and Canadian customers, charging more, and living a life of your dreams while traveling, while visiting different continents and countries. The link will be down below, along with all of the apps that I mentioned in this video. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but these two thumbnails have been generated with AI, and they've performed really well on this channel. They were absolutely fine in terms of CTR. This is something that we track. When we create a thumbnail, how many people actually click it? You can generate the most amazing pictures using ChatGPT or AI. And um, again, it's very important to be specific. When I was creating this thumbnail, I asked the app to place me in an apartment in Malibu. I want to see the ocean behind the windows. I want to wear this purple dress and I want balloons around me because we're celebrating 8 million followers on this channel. 
Ta-da! I didn't have to take that picture. It saved me so much time and money. Now I'm gonna show you how you can do it by yourself. There are two apps that you can use, Stable Diffusion or Mid Journey. So Mid Journey is a little bit too artistic. You need to be very specific with your request for it to work. Now you can work as a thumbnail designer using Mid Journey and you don't have to know anything about Adobe Photoshop or whatever. Here you have to be creative. Like, yes, Mid Journey will generate stuff for you, but you have to be specific. You have to have this idea in your head, like, oh, this would be good for a thumbnail. The same thing with a logo designer. Uh, that is like crazy. The logo problem is also solved by Mid Journey. For example, you have Lingua Marina on YouTube and Lingua Marina asks you to create a logo. Well, Mid Journey can do that too. If you're just starting with this job, you're gonna be paid around $29 network, standard $89, advanced $149. And you don't have to be a professional logo designer, you do that with Mid Journey. And let's wrap up our Mid Journey exploration with the last job that I wanted to mention, Social Media Manager. So for social media management, you can use Mid Journey to generate photos that would attract attention. And if you can look at Upworks, people who are just starting out with social media management get $49. So for 20 days of social media content, they pay you around $300 on Upwork. And again, you can generate that content with Mid Journey. Now, if I decide to record my next song, and if you know, I've already recorded two songs, one in Russian, one in English. The next song, 100%, is gonna be generated by AI, just because I wanna try out that feature by myself. If you're a songwriter, you can get 20, 40, or $60, depending on your proficiency level on Upwork, and you can write a song, yes, using ChatGPT. Let me show you how. So basically, same thing. You ask ChatGPT to write a song about love. Well, this is something basic. Oh my God, it's so good. It is so good. And these are the lyrics for your song or for your poem. There are more apps that would actually create music for you, but this is something for our next video because there's, there's a lot going on, right? Now let's talk about translation. So sad, so sad. Oh my God, the whole language industry is just being turned upside down because of this. Anyways, text translation. Yes, you can translate with Google Translate and then ask ChatGPT to correct mistakes, but there is an even better option. There is an app called DeepL. It is actually able to catch those language nuances because you know, sometimes you make a joke in your own language, but it doesn't just doesn't sound natural in English because uh, there is a special idiom in English and you can't really translate idioms. And it's just really hard in general to translate jokes from one language into another. Same thing with English. If you want to translate something from English and there is an idiom, kill two birds with one stone and you translate into your own language. But for example, in Russian, we would say kill two rabbits with one shot. I don't know if we're, we're just being so mean with these idioms. Anyways, if you translate with deep L, it's gonna translate according to all of the nuances that you have in a language. Now, there is this lady called Marta on um, Upwork. She translates from Polish to English and vice versa. She charges $15 for 500 words. Now, with deep L and ChatGPT and Google Translate, you can do that in, what, five minutes? I'm pretty sure that Marta is already using an AI app to help her with her work because what? She wants to save time and she wants to make more money. Neural networks are not here to take away your jobs. Oh, maybe they are. I don't even know. Like I get so nervous when I see a new app, honestly. I'm just being honest with you. Yeah, it's hard to realize that. You know, I've been learning these languages and now. Anyways, but they are making our lives easier they are giving us more free time. And as a creator, you know, I can just scale myself in different languages now and I'm already scaling myself. My channel in Arabic has over 100,000 uh, followers. My channel in Spanish has over 100,000 followers and I don't speak a word uh, in Arabic or Spanish, which is super exciting. And uh, yeah, people recognize me and people are like, oh, Marina, Spanish is amazing. I'm like, er, it's not me, it's, you know, AI translation and a voiceover. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it inspired you to do new things in life and to use your English to live a better life. This is what I'm here for. This is why I'm here. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.